I think I think he's got a pretty good deal here. You know, uh, the speaker said there wouldn't be a, a dollar for a wall. Well, I guess we're going to have an argument now about what's a wall, but uh, barriers. And that they wanted a cap on on detention uh, apprehension. So I, you know, I I think I think he's done just fine. I hope he'll conclude that because he's got to sign the bill. Says, you know, I'm unsure about the deal here, but he suggests that he might use transfer authority. First of all, I hope he signs the bill. And second, I think he ought to feel free to use whatever tools he can legally use to enhance his effort to secure the border. So, no, I would not be uh, troubled by that. Look, that's, that's what they now have to put it on paper. We have to see if that reflects the principles. And we are hopeful the president will, once he does that and once we do that, We'll conclude that it's a good idea to sign it. Thank you. Traffic cop. Minority leader, traffic cop. Now we have a bipartisan agreement. As in all bipartisan agreements, everybody had to give something. We are urging the President to sign it. The President should not make the same mistake he made a couple of months ago when there was a bipartisan agreement and he wouldn't sign it and cause the shutdown. Please, Mr. President, no one got everything they wanted in this bill, but sign it and don't cause a shutdown. The leaders of the conference committee uh, have found an agreement in principle to keep the government open. The details are still being hammered out, but the tentative agreement represents a welcome path forward for our country and away from the dreaded government shutdown. Even with this deal, do you think that he will still declare a national emergency? Absolutely. Because it's well short of what he needs. 5.7 is what it costs to put barriers in the top 10 places identified by DHS is where you would need a barrier. So they asked Department of Homeland Security, tell us your top 10 places to put a barrier in terms of need. It came out to be 5.7 billion. He's hell bent on getting those top 10 done. So the difference between what we appropriate and 5.7, that delta he'll have to find on his own. I think he can do it two ways. He can basically ask some authority without a national emergency to reprogram money. And the other way is to declare a national emergency and move money around. I think he'll do both. Not sure, but that's what I think. Do you think he should do that? immediately in a, in a fight over in the courts. Mm -hmm. like, puts it immediately well, the national to... emergency, I'm sure. But I think, he, I, think he's willing, I think he wants that fight. I think he's saying, from my point of view, this is a national emergency. And I think he's willing to have that fight with Congress and the courts. But it could drag out for years. It's not a perfect uh, agreement, but it will open all seven uh, appropriation bill, put 1,000, 800,000 people back to work, and uh, make a big down payment on uh, securing the border. This is a multi-year deal. This is not just a one-year deal on the border. The president knows that. I know that. Uh, if we're going to secure our borders, we're going to have to be committed as up here in the Congress and at the White House for multi-years. This not, can't happen in a day or a week or a month or two years. But this is, I believe, a bigger down payment, and it opens it up. Mr.